Former Stan Creek West era representative Melvin Halls was laid to rest today in Stan Creek District. His official send-off was complete with the presence of the Belize Defense Force Marching Band and burial party that led a funeral procession to his final resting place at his property along the Hummingbird Highway. Hulls was remembered by his family as well as close friends, including Stan Creek West era representative Rodwell Ferguson. I decided to enter politics in the year 2003. I said, you know what? I'm happy Melvin is not running. <laughs> because I knew him quite well, and I knew I could not defeat him Melvin Hall so easily. And so when I had another candidate, I was victorious in the election. But Melvin came back in 2008. And he gave me a truncheon. <laughs> he defeated me by 825 votes. <laughs> because of the person he is, he was a hands-on man. He knew to reach out to everybody, and he was able to gather the votes. But in 2012 election, I said, I'm going this time, you know, beat me. <laughs> and so I worked very hard, and I, re and I reversed 825 votes. Surprisingly, in four years, I was able to defeat him in the 2012 election. But despite that, we still maintain a good relationship. Eulogizing Halls was a very close friend of his, Anthony Quillen, who spoke fondly of him as a man for all seasons. Melvin, the person. Melvin was realistic and accepted that he was a lousy husband, but a great father. <laughs> he was a selfless man with an infectiously charming character. A compelling speaker, naturally intelligent, unpretentious, a grassroots advocate, son of the soil, especially for his beloved Southern Belize. A visionary, a mother named Robin Hood, who took from the rich to give the poor. He wanted to be remembered as the father of the South. As many would later come to find out, Melvin Halls was terminally ill with cancer. Notwithstanding his bout with the disease, he remained jovial and always kept his wits about him. He was also a fighter to the bitter end. As most of you know, my dad was not in sickness, but it was a big part of our lives, especially towards the end. It was a time in his life where he showed the most strength, and we need to thank those that helped him fight this battle. I have to start off first by thanking everyone who attended today. It means that in some way, somehow, my dad impacted your life most likely positively. And that's one of the greatest joys of being his daughter, telling people who I am and being met with all kinds of stories about the life he's lived. It gives me little peeks into the moments of the fulfilled life he spoke so fondly about. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.